Hi everyone, it's Shannon. Um, wish I could report some good stuff today, but uh, not so much. I'm kind of frustrated today. I uh, did an experiment. I was invited on um, Facebook to uh, be a part of a an experiment to restart my body. Mostly it was um, for people who are stalled um, or not making uh, a big progress. Like I was getting one step forward, one step back, you know, I would have no loss uh, and then the next day I would have a 0.6 loss and then the next day I would have a 0.6 gain and um, it was this, for me, the same as a stall and I just felt like I needed to um, see some more success and so I went ahead and agreed to be a part of this test, this experiment. Stay. They did an apple day, a normal apple day, and had like a, I don't think, I think it was like a 1.4, 1.6, um, or no, I think it was like a three pound release. And then the next day they did another apple day and it was a one pound release or something. And, and then they did an egg day and then a fat day and where they ate uh, 180 to 200 grams of fat throughout the day. Fat type of foods like nuts and cream and butter and avocado and, and a steak at the end of the evening. My dogs. Um, anyway, <laughs> wait, you have to see this, it's funny. See Louie's hair and he's sitting in the middle of all these pillows. You're so funny, Louie. <laughs> anyway, and then my other dog, uh, Coda. Hi, Coda. Hi, Coda. <laughs> They're all so friendly. Anyway, okay, sit down. Sit down. Um, anyway, uh, so they had these great losses and, and they're continuing, less of me is continuing doing fat day every day as long as they're seeing these great re releases, which I'm like, I'm all about that. You know, I, I like fat. I, you know, enjoy food and I enjoy oils and fats and butters and bacon and steak and all that kind of thing. And so I signed up for it. I thought, okay, I'll do this. And on Apple Day, I did have a 0.8% pound release which apple day generally you know nets a good release anyway and then the next day I did an egg day and egg day was hard because I was never really satisfied um, you know in eating like in the morning I had a poached egg and um, thanks to Carol and your your poached egg trick I really like that but I did that and then I had like three hard-boiled eggs throughout the day throughout my working day and then when I got home I made a um, like a souffle with two eggs and I put seasoning in it and that was it and then I did a chocolate souffle for myself for later on with just cocoa and um, sweetener so uh, egg day netted nothing zero zip zilch and I was really disappointed but I thought okay at least I'm not stepping back but that's kind of like normal for me is what I've been doing and then yesterday was my fat day. I was really looking forward to it and I had these great grand ideas. I made myself some, or I ate the last of my Greek yogurt. And that's high in fat content, so that was fine. And then um, throughout the day, you know, I, I had an avocado. I made guacamole with avocado and sour cream and I um, dipped string cheese in it for my um, dip. And then also, uh, I guess right after church, we stopped at Qdoba and I had the Mexican gumbo with no beans, no rice, and just um, chicken in it with uh, guacamole, sour cream, and cheese. So that was high fat content. And what's so cool about Qdoba, by the way, is that you can go mm -hmm. online and, um, <laughs> I love my doggies. You can go online and check their uh, n nutrition content, you know, their uh, calories, their fat, their, um, carbs, that kind of thing for any item on the menu and any amount of items, you know, you can do an a la carte thing. Anyway, um, let's see, and then for dinner I sauteed up a marbled uh, ribeye steak with some onion for my husband and I, and I sauteed it initially in olive oil and then I put butter on the end of it, you know, kind of like a sauce thing. It was really good, and then like sliced up some Roma tomatoes. And so it was a good, um, kind of a normal, like almost like a, a low day uh, for me. And I really expected some great losses today. I get on the scale and I was up 
by 2.6 pounds. Ah! When I started this experiment, I had 14 days left on this uh, VLCD, um, and uh, and I still had 11 pounds to reach my goal weight. And uh, now I have 11 days left, and I have like 14 pounds to lose. I I'm just I'm so frustrated, so discouraged, and I don't. I, you know, I'm, I'm doing an apple day today just so that I can correct and get back on track. And, you know, now I've like taken a giant step backwards and I'm so disappointed. I'm really sorry that I took part in that experiment, but everybody else seems to be reporting these great results with this experiment. So I, I don't know. I'm, I'm angry with my body is what I'm angry with. And plus, even though my clothes are, are feeling looser on me. Um, I look in the mirror and I'm thinking, what the heck? You know, I've got this little poochy thing. I don't know if you can hear. I'll show you. This poochy thing going on that I want to get rid of. And it's just pooching out. And I don't see it going down. And every week, in fact, today I need to do my measurements again. Like last week, I it seemed like I gained in inches. And so... What the heck is going on with this round? I don't understand and I don't, you know, I other than this experiment really haven't cheated. I and oh, other than this experiment and then Easter. <laughs> um, I haven't really. And you know what's funny is Easter when I did do a cheat and it was that carrot cake that I mentioned. I I only gained like uh 0.4 pounds or something and then lost it the next day and so I don't know what's up with this, but I'm pretty discouraged about it. And now I'm wondering if I shouldn't go further than the 43 days, um, just as long as my body will handle, you know, this, and I don't um, start getting overly hungry and and feel like immunity is setting in. I just I'm thinking maybe I should go further. Although it was uh, Actually, the schedule, it's scheduled out to right when my brother comes to visit, and we all go down to uh, the Oregon coast for a, a little mini getaway, and I'll be, I should be doing a, a P3 by then, and so I can enjoy food. So, somebody just mentioned to me recently about a uh, planned interruption, or, and then also I've heard things about cycling, and I'm wondering if maybe I should do that. I don't know. Any input is um, appreciated, everybody. Sorry, I haven't really been very encouraging or positive today. For everybody else, happy uh, releases, happy stabilization, happy maintenance. Peace out.